Let's talk about editing vectors in Figma. So I brought in an illustration, a silhouette of a rabbit. Now this is a vector shape. You can actually see that it's called a vector here in my layers panel. If I have it selected, I can't really do much to it. If I even click the pen tool, I don't see any of the anchor points. So slightly different than some other vector programs. What you need to do to edit this vector is to either click on this edit object button while you have the button or while you have the vector selected or just double click on that vector. Suddenly we see all of the anchor points of this vector. What can we do? Well, let's zoom in here a little bit. We can click and drag anchor points. So we could click on one and select it and move it around. We can also edit the handles of that anchor point. You can hold different modifier keys to help keep things aligned or help duplicate pieces as well. You can also switch to the pen tool. The shortcut key is P. And then you can remove points easily. You can add points easily. You can add handles if you need to or adjust handles as well. So you can use these tools. And there's actually another tool. It's called the bend tool, which you can use that to grab between two lines just to kind of bend it around and kind of make adjustments there. Same thing with the uh, actual anchor point itself. You could use that bend tool to grab both of the handles and click and drag them out there. We also have the paint bucket tool, which allows us to basically paint inside of different areas. And so we can fill that there as well or adjust the fill completely over here in our properties panel to make it a red bunny, for instance. All in all, using the move tool, using the pen tool, using the bend tool, you can come in here and edit or directly edit these anchor points of any vector shape here in your document, here in Figma. And when you're done editing and you want to go back or get out of this mode, you just click that big done button up there in your toolbar. And then you can move this stuff around. We made a little hump on the bunny's back, but that's how you can actually edit different vectors. Now, in other programs, you'll see those anchor points just kind of out there already. Here in Figma, it makes the vector look a little bit cleaner and kind of just groups everything together, makes it not really editable as you use it in your design, which might help clean up the look of your design while you're actually having a lot of things selected. However, pretty easy just to get into that vector editing mode and then tweak some of your uh, different anchor points and edit your vectors here in Figma.